Hello guys welcome back to the another video of Aim Amy. In this video, we will learn about properties of sand which is desirable in molding process. But before going to the today's topic I request you to consider subscribing. Also press the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our latest updates. A material which has high refectories can be used as mold manufacturing. There are many metallic and non-metallic material used to mold manufacturing but sand is the mostly used non-metallic material for molding. It has high refectories properties and has high chemical stability at high temperature. It is easily available, cheap and can be shaped easily. These are the basic properties of sand due to which it is used in molding. So let's check out those properties. It is the basic and most desirable properties of molding material. It is defined as the property of a material to withstand with high temperature without any crack or breaking of mold, which can provide good casting. This property of sand can be extending to some extent by mixing some adhesive. The poor refectories give poor surface finish and poor casting. The degree of refectoriness depend on the silicon oxide contain and grain size of the sand. The higher the silicon oxide contain give higher refectoriness. It is the property which allow to escape any gas, air, and moisture contained from the mold. It is also known as porosity of sand. This property is desirable for making cast without any defect. All of these gases and air particles generated during pouring and solidification of molten metal into the mold. These particles should be removed from the mold before casting, otherwise it will generate many defects in the casting product and decrease its strength. Permeability is function of grain size, moisture, and clay contain. Cohesiveness is the property due to which the sand particle attracts each other within the mold. It is the property which increases the binding capacity of molding sand which make good mold. It is known as the strength of sand mold mixed with water. The sand mixed with water should have sufficient strength and toughness to handle the mold. Green strength of sand is mostly depends on the adhesive and cohesive property of sand. Adhesive is property by virtue of which the sand particles attract other particles which makes strong bond between sand, clay, and moisture particle. It is desirable for strong mold. The cohesiveness of particle is desirable to taking out the pattern from the mold without breaking it. The green strength is depends the grain size, clay contain and moisture contain in the sand. When the molten metal gets contact with the mold, the moisture of adjacent layer evaporates which makes it dry. So the dry strength of sand should be sufficient enough so it can be withstand with molten metal. Flowability and plasticity It is the ability of sand which allows it to flow like fluid into the mold. This property of sand is required to make uniform mold. It allows the sand particle to flow all over the mold during ramming process. It increases with decreasing in green strength. It is also depends on the grain size, clay, and moisture content. It is the property of sand due to which sand particles attract other particles. It is desirable for the making strong mold. This property of sand is required to avoid cracks in casting after solidification. After the molten metal gets solidified into the mold, the mold should be collapsible which allow free contraction of metal which avoid tearing and cracking of casting product. So guys, these all are desirable properties of sand which allow the sand to use in molding process. If you have any doubt about this video, ask by commenting. If you like this video, don't forget to share it on social networks. Subscribe our educational channel Aim Amy, for more informative videos. In our next video we will learn about the centrifugal casting process, till then stay tuned with Aim Amy.